Hello friends, so today we are going to take another equipment which is highly efficient in the treatment of oil and suspended solids present in the wastewater. This equipment is called Dissolved Air Flotation System and very commonly it is known as DAF. So my name is Kishla and this is my channel Ecosphere. In this channel we take different topics related to the environment, pollution and its control. So let's start today's topic. So DAF systems are very commonly used nowadays. It helps remove suspended solids and oil present in the water. It works in various kind of industries like paper, textiles, slaughterhouses, food processing, dairy, automobile, electroplating and many others. So why this DAF is getting so popular nowadays? So these are the reasons. It can separate TSS along with the oil present in the wastewater. Sometimes we do not require any separate oil and grease trap. It can separate emulsified form of oil also which cannot be done in the normal kind of oil and grease trap or clarifiers. Another benefit, it takes very small space in comparison to the conventional clarifier and tube settlers. It takes hardly one fourth space in comparison to the conventional clarifier. If we talk about its efficiency, it is highly efficient which is around 80 to 95 percent and sometimes it goes to the 99 percent also depending upon the type of industry. DAF can be used in both primary and secondary stages of the wastewater treatment. One more benefit is it is used in the paper and other fiber industries to recover the fiber from the wastewater which eventually saves a lot of money while production. If you go back firstly the DAF was introduced in the mining industries where different substances were separated on the basis of difference in their densities. Adding air in the washing medium made a greater difference in the apparent densities of different substances and separation became more easy. After this it was introduced in the paper industry. In paper industry it was observed that a large quantity of pulp was washing into the drains. Initially it was recovered by using large gravitational settlers. But introduction of DAF made it very easy and convenient. It worked both commercially and reduced environmental damage at the same time. And after this, it was successfully introduced in various kind of industries. DAF has many components, but main components are air compressor, high pressure pump, air saturator, pressure reduction valve, chemical dosing systems and flotation tank. Now let's see all these components in detail through this diagram. Air compressor is required to get the continuous supply of air at the required pressure. High pressure pump is required of around 6.5 kg per cm square. In the smaller units, 100% of effluent can be recycled and in bigger units, 15 to 120% of effluent is recycled depending upon the nature of effluent. Air saturator is a cylindrical shaped system where effluent and air is dissolved at a pressure of about 6.5 kg per cm square. We need this pressure because micron sized air bubble do not dissolve properly at lower pressure. Pressure reduction valve is placed just at the inlet of flotation tank to reduce the pressure generated in the air saturator. When the pressure is released, tiny air bubbles stick to the suspended particles and bring them to the surface of water in the flotation tank. Chemical dosing systems are generally required in DAF systems. Different coagulants and flocculants are dosed in the effluent to get the bigger flocks of suspended particles. These flocks attach more easily with air bubbles and rise more easily to the surface of water. Flotation tank is a tank where suspended solids present in the effluent floats and get separated with the help of a skimming device and water gets clarified. Shape of the tank can be rectangular or circular. Here in this video we can clearly see the floating material on the surface which is removed by the skimming device. So this was a brief description of the DAF system. In the coming video we will discuss its detailed design. Until then, goodbye.